So the ethics of care is a normative ethics, uh, ethical theory that is a theory about what makes actions right or wrong in human relationships. So this one is talking about the rightness and the wrongness of action in relation, no? in relation to human relationships. Uh, on how we, I mean, on with when uh, with uh, considering uh, our relationship with the others. No? We are do we're going to uh, no, we're going to to judge actions as right or wrong depending on our relationship with others. So it is a feminist approach to ethics. It is feminist because uh, ethics of care, from the word itself, care, it is more inclined to emotion. Uh, if you can, I uh, know, if you can recall or if you can uh, imagine, our society has branded women or the feminine as the one usually showing care or expressing care, no? And then the masculine, mga lalaki usually uh, labeled or uh, not usual or it's not usually um, expressing care or showing care. So it challenges traditional moral theories as male-centric and problematic to the extent they omit or downplay values and virtues usually culturally associated with women or with roles that are often cast as feminine. If we are going to back a bit now in history, uh, we are aware how female or how women are being or were being treated by the society as less uh, than men, lesser than men, uh, inferior than men. Uh, their ideas and thoughts are not considered as equal with the thoughts and ideas of men uh, if you can remember as well no, if you have your gender society about the waves of uh, feminism in the United States most especially um, in the you know in uh, in the uh, in the courts no, Supreme Court uh, regional trial court or in the uh, city court or like that no Way back before 19th or 20th century, women are not yet allowed to practice law. They are even ridiculed. No, they 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 were being ridiculed if they tried hard, no, uh, to to uh, uh, push themselves to be part of the law profession. In fact, women were struggling for equality up to the 20th century, no. Uh, earlier, uh, earlier of 20th century, it was then that they had their uh, rights to suffrage, to vote. No, dito palamang sila nag uh, natagaan ng privilegio or or natagaan ng katungod to 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 practice uh, voting. No, and others. So that's why the ethics of care is challenging the traditional moral theories. One of that is the ontology and utilitarianism. Now, th that is a male-centric uh, moral theory, and somehow problematic since no, it omit it omit the values and virtues that is usually associated with women. That is being emotional. So the basic beliefs of this uh, theory. Are the following all individuals and organizations including nations are interdependent for achieving their interests even us now even us are having a role to play for the others not to, to, to fulfill their interests no, or to achieve their interests like you as students and me as your instructor you have to play your part now as students you have to to uh, to do your part and I have to do my part as well as your instructor that way we are playing a role no we're playing our our vital role in the society since you have your interests you wanted to to be successful one day and of course the the way for that is education and uh, mine is is practicing my profession and also not just only a duty but of course with passion so those particularly vulnerable to the choices of others and the outcomes of, of such choices deserve extra consideration to be measured according to first is the level of their vulnerability to others choices 
and second one is the level of their effectiveness by others' choices. So the ethics of care is particular with with uh, with giving con extra consideration depending on the circumstances, depending on the situation. Kung baga, mo ingon mo via case-to-case basis. It is usually applied to this kind of moral theory. Uh, let's say, for example, you are in a bush. No? Uh, kasi restra may available na to dire, no? usually, din is uh, negros oriental. Let's say, for example, doon ay nisakay and puno na ang seres. And you have, of course, secured one seat for yourself. And then, uh, doon ay dua ka ni Saka, no? ang usa, nakakratch, doon, uh, uh, putol lang yung tail, so of course, nakakratch siya, so usa lang man yung kinanglan para makasakay siya, nagbarog siya, and then there's another one who is able, no? um, you want to offer a seat, kailangan ka nga imuhang ihatag ang imong lingkuranan, which among the two uh, will, you, will you give consideration? Of course, we will give the consideration to the PWD, uh, person with disability, and that is having one leg and a crutch. So, moto siya nga we we treat, no, we give consideration to someone depending on the vulnerability of that person. And uh, another example is about law, no. Recently, uh, earlier this morning, I heard the news, no, with an interview uh, with a doctor. Um, it's from the, you know, it's it's in Cebu. Um, he, uh, she was talking about the law, about, uh, I guess it was about giving protection to, to the tobacco makers as well as the electronic uh, smoke smokers, no? I guess that is the vape industry. Um, she was actually trying to counter the law that it should not be passed. That it should not be, it should not be uh, it's not a law actually, it's still a bill. It has not uh, yet passed in the, uh, no, the upper chamber. So, wala pa siya na himong balaod. Uh, she was countering that bill not to become a law. Since the one who will be affected by it are the people who are not smokers, who are not into vape, no? those who are not into tobacco. So, it, if, if, it, if that law will be passed, I'm not yet into the details of that, of that bill now. But the the basic is is like that, giving the protection. So basically, uh, it's tolerating and condoning the use of the vape user. I mean the vape electronic smoke and then the the uh, the the one, uh, the the usual one. So we should give considerations to those who are affected by our choices, especially the sa tong balaod, no? kinsa may apektado and then kinsa may vulner vulnerable. So according to Carol Gilligan, uh, Carol Gilligan class is the is a psychologist. Uh, um, he uh, she is the main proponent of uh, ethics of care. He uh, she said that the shift in moral perspective is manifested by a change in the moral question from what is just. Now, if you can recall, the ontology and the uh, utilitarianism are focusing on what is right and what is wrong. So of course it. It uh, it tend, especially the categorical imperative of the ontology, that what is uh, the a maxim that that uh, that you want to become universal is the only one that you need to to do. So, well, in uh, utilitarianism, uh, it was it was a different criteria that uh, referring to the right action once it uh, it gives so much. Uh, satisfaction or pleasure to the majority of people. No? So, what is just? It uh, it shifted to for the ethics of care to how to respond to those troubled situations. That means how to care on a particular situations. Saon manimo pagpakita o pagamuma, pagatiman or pagamping. No, it's a uh, it's a different Bisaya or dialect terms. No, that uh, I cannot. Uh, that does not really uh, 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 fit in to the word care. Pag atiman amping, no? uh, like that, or amuma. So, this ethics of care is actually a moral perspective that is totally different from utilitarianism and deontology. Whereas virtue ethics, I define the virtue ethics as in the middle. It's not more on the masculine or the feminine. It's, it's, uh, it's in the middle. 
uh, it's on a character building so everyone is welcome to adopt virtue ethics either you are a a woman or a man or a member of lgbtq plus uh, community so care ethics uh, focuses on the unique demands of, of specific situations and to the virtues and the feelings that are central to close personal relationships like uh, showing this particular values empathy compassion love and fidelity so this one are being used or being applied to unique uh, or specific situations so in this perspective emotion is considered during the moral decision making it is very important but let us let us uh, remember that care ethics does not tolerate as well blind emotion or I may say exaggerated emotion it should be a genuine emotion of course a valid emotion so the ontology and utilitarianism are rational and logical but unemotional because the paradigm of the ontology and utilitarianism are more on reason it's there there is a pattern no? the ends justify the means which is utilitarianism referring to to the consequence the result as long as the result is okay and good good and okay then bahala na o dili maayo ang pamaagi so long as the result is okay and good maayo o okay then that is fine while for the ontology the means justifies the ends no it that uh, the, the important for the pattern of the ontology or the paradigm of the ontology it's referring to the means as long as insakto ang pamaagi i don't care what is the result then maayo na na siyang liho. so on this view there is not a dichotomy between reason and emotion so when they say dichotomy panag-away between reason and emotion like sir managaway asa may mas palabiho na to reason or ang emotion since the ontology and utilitarianism are more on reason and logic while ethics of care is more on emotion we have to remember that uh, emotions should be reason uh, reasonable as well and morally appropriate in guiding good decisions or actions uh, we do not uh, tolerate uh, exaggerated and blinded emotions it should be reasonable as well this is this, this should not be put into quarrel meaning reason and emotion it should be uh, used no work hand in hand to to uh, to make a filtered and uh, uh, better uh, decision making feminist ethics also recognizes that ro that rules must be applied in a context it should be guided in a context as well and the real life moral decision making is influenced by the relationships we have with those around us So the caring moral agent will consider one's duty may be greater to those they have particular bonds with or to others who are powerless rather than powerful. One example of that is, um, say for example, uh, regarding the, the case of, of a poor and a rich person. No? Ang nakasala is ang dato, uh, it just happened that uh, the poor, ang pobre mo yung lang. In that case, and you know well, you as the the care the caring moral agent, ikaw mo yung nagtuo sa uh, in ethics of care. What you're going to do is uh, you have to fight for the poor, no? Basically, you have you're going to stand as a witness, especially if you're a witness to the situation or sa panghitabo. Ang imo hang bias is more on the poor, sa pobre. I call that bias since you are more inclined to side with with the poor of course that is the truth no mona yung sakto nga nahitabo no the bias uh, being used here as a term is in a positive positive sense no your bias is, is on the poor alangan po pasagdaan na lang nimong pobre nga daog daogon since wala man gyud siya kaya nga ikalaban so carry a caring moral agent you as a caring moral agent you are considering the circumstance or the situation of the poor another example is the i know that uh, i know that the uh, uh, majority here in the class are more inclined not to admire 
um, this is for the sake of discussion. No? I, I I understand and I respect your decision. Whatever, whoever you're gonna choose, if you're a voter or if you're already a voter, no. But uh, I know that uh, the majority of you are more inclined to Bongbong Marcos. No, and that is fine. It, it's fine. But I just want you to realize these things. No, it is a history is a form of history revisionism. Now we are trying to revise the history class once we will attempt to correct the mistakes of the past. What are the mistakes of the past? During the martial law, even though you are not a victim, even though you are not, or you, your family, or your elders were not there during the martial law, or, you, or, or not affected by the martial law, imagine there, are, there were more than 3,000 people who were murdered and killed for the case of subversion. More than 30,000 plus are detained, tortured, you know, detained, tortured, and uh, uh, sa pangaklase di ano nga pag, pag, pag investigar. There were many who got uh, missing, who went missing, and nowhere to find, no? Until now, dili makita. And then, even the international uh, humanitarian, ano no? Uh, and during that time, I forgot what was the society who was observing the Philippines during the time of Marcos, there were so many abuses. Again, um, with regards to that case, no, as a caring moral agent, this is only for the sake of discussion as an example. Again, there is no economic gain can ever compensate to the lives compromised in the process. That is a very honest and realistic reflection class. There is no economic gain. Whatever projects he has done to the country, it is it is well. I know it is it is okay. It, it was all fine. No, it was good for the country. Ngaduna na siya mga projects, but it should not be used as a justification for the crime committed, for the corruption committed. An example for this was the time of Hitler of Germany no? during the World War Two. During, before Hitler arose to power, before Hitler ar, ar, rose to power class, the Germany was in the verge of economic collapse. So when he was on the rise, the, Philipp, the, the German people believed that uh, he is the God-sent leader who can, uh, can, who can make German a great nation. And during, for a few years in his stay in power, they, they have they called the economic miracle because there were six million unemployment pe unemployed people during that time no in world war two and during his stay in power for a few years the economy the economy of Germ of germany um uh rise no in an unexpected way grabby ang pagtaas and the employment rate was falling uh, falling and falling and falling. So halos tanan natagaan ang trabaho, and the, the economy of German of, of Germany was rising, was blooming. That's what that what, that was what they call economic miracle. And then later on, boom. He even initiated the World War Two. That because of the economic gain of Germany, can we justify the doings of Hitler, of that fanaticism? It was it was it was a, a fanaticism because people of Germany was blinded with that with that belief no of that of a savior of a messiah and the, here we comes no here we comes if you believe that Bongbong Marcos is a, a messiah of the Philippines we have to remember back on the history if we have learned after all it is a history revisionism or you are a revisionist once you are trying to correct the past of the mistakes we have to acknowledge it and we have to demand that person to, to, to express an apology and to make amends. When I say make amends class, that is to correct their mistakes. But until now, they have not admitted even one mistake. Imelda Marcos was, was uh, uh, convicted. No? Convicted many times. But the court says, Dili siya pwede prisuhan tungod siyang edad. But there were 90s and even 100s in Agipang Priso Karun. Where is justice on that? Diba? And they have not admitted even one mistake on that class. 
And if you are an admirer, again, tagaan kag 100 million, let's say for example, this is the very particular example so you may you may uh, realize. Tagaan kag 100 million pesos in reverse for a life of your parents. Kuha on ang kinabuhi sa imuang inahan o garmahan in exchange for that 100 million pesos. Will you ever agree to that to that kind of contract? Magri ba mo guys? No. No. In that case, that is why I said, even sa usalang ka kinabuhi, especially sa mas importante ni mo, family member, even how much huge the price is being given to you, you will never allow that. And then, you will only understand the pain and the misery once you are the one affected. Kung dili ka apektado, dili yung ka magka-feel kung what's ka pain. War on drugs. War on drugs. I will, I will give this an example as well. Because during the verge of the war, no, I was still in Manila then. We, we went to streets not to rally, especially for, for the loss, the train law. We also did that. Kadaghan mi nang adto sa kalye din ni rally. I was still in part, uh, I was still a seminarian then, uh, member of the Franciscan congregation. Uh, the bias of the Franciscans actually is pro poor. We, we, uh, we, uh, give considerations to the welfare of the poor no? what is the effect of this law if, of this bill if will be if it will be passed to to become a law the train law is the reason why grabe ang pagtaas sa ato ang mga palaliton karon grabe ang pagtaas sa sa gasolina grabe pagtaas sa mga presyo the inflation rate was in its peak when it was passed into law there were so many revisions mga reappropriation sa sa mga taxes mo to siya nga grabe ang pagtaas ng mga presyo until now so the war on drugs clash many or uh, thousands 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 of families got ano no uh, uh, lost their sons their their daughters uh, their parents their mothers and their fathers if you are in that situation especially katong mga tao nga uh, na resort na lang sa ingon ana nga panginabuhi tungod kay wala wala gyud tungod sa kapuprihon if the government is really eager and very willing to end the drug problem in the country it is on the drug lords and those who are cooking shabu and whatever drug elements is that in a, in a root cause analysis no as a form of solving the problem RCA root cause analysis i know you're familiar with that if you're going to solve the problem, you have to strike the root. What is the root of the problem? Kung sa bunga, kung sa, sa kahoy pa, ay ang bunga poisonous. Unsa man ay mong kuhaon, tangtangon ang bunga ba o ang punuan mismo? You have to strike the roots and then it will, it, will, it, will, it will die. In the problem in the country, if you want a long-term solution to this country, you should not kill the poor without even due process. You should not uh, eliminate or annihilate those who are users. I'm not saying that it should be tolerated. I am saying that uh, if, you are, if you want to address the problem, you have to strike the root of the problem. And that is the one who are cooking shabus and those, the, the, and those drug lords who supply no? and who uh, uh, f uh, finance that kind of, of elements, that drug elements. So, muna siya ang, ang pinaka-epektibo ng problema. Because, because ang problema class, kaning mga drug addicts, I know that uh, I've, I've, I've heard many of the, uh, the testimonies of those who have successfully overcome or surfaced from that misery. No? Uh, at, at, at start, they just only go on out of peer pressure na sugdan nila o gamit. And later on, ang to niya na addict. Due to the pressure of the family for, for that, for that uh, a member nga mabago siya, Sige siya, promise nga mabago siya. Adili na siya mo gamit. Mangita na siya trabaho, mutarong na siya eskwela. But by the time nga doon na na po ilaing friend no, nga mo-offer niya, maglisod na siya dili. Maglisod na siya o balibad. Kay mangita man good ang iyang, kuan, iyang kaugalingon sa maunga kuan, na substance. That is the same with vice, bisyo. Sa, kung na, na bisyo ka na kuan, na, na adik kagsugal, na adik ka o uh, sigarilyo, sige po pangita imong lawas or imong ginahab no? ang imong kaugalingon niya ma-feel na po ni mo so how does it feel 
So they have struggled so much. Those most of the victims, no, those who are, most of the addicts are struggling to renew themselves. Na kung sige pag supply, no, sige pag yapong supply, dili gana sila magka-renew sila ko galingon. Dili sila magka-reform ng kabago sila ko galingon. So in order for them to continue and even those who does not want to renew themselves, dili ganahan nga bagoon na kaganon, wala sila choice kung wala ni supply. So that is the very problem niya karon ang problema. Mas didaghan man noon, no? Tungod lang sa tungod lang sa mga warning sa sa humanitar- uh, uh, human rights international uh, societies and organizations murag ni kalma ang patya na iron no unlike before nga grabe gyud halos kada adlaw dunay uh, minimum na nang kuan no minimum na nang usa uh, dunay mamatay karon at least talaga sana lang na due to the to the intervention of of the human rights organizations international organizations and even our human rights here are, are greatly criticized No, greatly criticized even they are just only doing their job. No. Um dili gud siya pwede. And then you can only you can only also feel or understand the pain of those families nga what and ko sa pamilya once it happened to your family. And we do not want to to to, to encounter that. We don't want to feel that. So the traditional proponents of feminist care ethics include the, of course, I said Carol Gilligan. It was in 1936, and Nell Nuttings in 1929. A Gilligan argued that if women are more emotional than men, and women pay more attention to relationships rather than rules, no, tungod lang kay emotional sila or mas emotional sila o mas mo pay o attention sila sa relationships. Uh, instead of rules, dili is a sign nga ang mga babayi less ethical. It's just that the it should be seen in a different perspectives, like different values that are equally valuable with rules. So ang mga mga lalaki, especially the masculine, more on rules. No, kung say rules, may mas may masunod. Kung nasa nga if you if you watch movies, no how uh, movies how uh, men behave no, in, in 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 few centuries ago, uh, mga lalaki get train as a soldier. Uh, kay siging naigiera mga lalaki nga nga the branded or socially constructed nga dapat ang lalaki kahi dili mo hilap dili mo pakita og weakness dili mo pakita og emotion so mo na sa una so mga lalaki na brand gud nga maskulado brand gud nga aggressive uh, branded as kuan kayo so mo na siya nga dili dapat makita nga tungod lang kay mas emotional o mas weak ang babaye it should be seen as less ethical Uh, Gilligan deemed these differences to be natural and associated with sex rather than gender. Uh, these differences may well have been socially constructed and therefore the result of nurture. So, kanin siyang pagbrand sa lalaki o sa babae or sa men and women uh, regarding their, their uh, tendency to care or to express care is socially constructed. So, it is a part of nurture. Kanin pagbrand, kanin pag uh, ila na to, na sa babae nga mas weak kaysa lalaki. So th- that was that happened before no with that kind of branding since since ang uh, mga mga ang, ang sukdanan, ang sukdanan sa superiority, superiority sa society is strength, physical strength. So mo nang mao'y wala sa babae kumpara sa lalaki. So that's why naandan sa society since mas superior man ang lalaki when it comes to physical strength, which was the sole criteria of superiority before no of survival so mura sya nga nga naandan hangtod nga naandan nga nga inferior gyud ang babaye so and then the women fought that for many years for centuries until this time they are still fighting no? now an example Heinz's uh, dilemma i want you to analyze this one A woman has a rare form of cancer. So let's say this woman is your wife. But there is a drug that might save your wife. Now, the drug costs four thousand dollars per dose, and the sick woman husband, you as the husband Heinz, want to everyone, the friends, and to organizations, to borrow money and try every legal means. But he could only get together two thousand dollars. He asked the doctor, scientist, or the pharmacist to discover the drug for a discount or to let him pay later but the doctor refused 
for in the perspective of care of ethics of care or care ethics what would you do okay so first thing is um if doctor user uh, i will try to um convince him by stating my situation situation sir um hoping that he will understand sir that uh i did all the means to find a source of to provide source of financial um means to save the life of my um wife to to, to purchase the dose they need, needed for the drug sir try, i'll try to convince the doctor sir there's like hope there's a, a space in my my heart hoping that the doctor will um allow me sir all right thank you for that aviante any other answer me sir uh the last trick uh ko answer uh, in my ko uh, in my opinion sir kanang naka get together naman ko 2000 dollars to kanang urgent naman ni sir kay cancer naman ang sakit sa ko wife so ko baton sir kay mubalhin na lang ko og lahi na ko uh, kanang doctor because surely there kanang dili naman pud kana na drug ang maka cure sa ko wife no there are other kanang other forms of cure man pud no na enough na anang 2000 dollars ni budget sir All right, uh, thank Hola. you. Thank you the last trick no? uh, that is a possibility no in a real life situation. But given this uh, scenario let's say for example, wala ni gud kay laing kadaganan but only this this doctor no or this doctor who invented a drug or a cure for that kind of cancer. So for Viante, uh, since the doctor refused already um, she will state her case in a more uh, detailed way, probably that can convince the doctor. While for the last trico is to find another means, another doctor. All right. So for for the last trico's answer, that is that is possible now in 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 a real life scenario. That is possible that we can find another doctor. But in this one, there is no other doctor. So let's explain this with the, with the the perspective or the the. Uh, explanation of a, uh, a caring moral agent so arguably the caring person would place the relationship with one spouse above any relationships they may have or may not have with the pharmacist or the doctor so mas tagaan ni mugbugat no when it comes to how your wife means to you than the doctor so and care or compassion or love your care or your your compassion or your love for your wife would outweigh a rule or a law in this case so leading to the conclusion that the right thing to do is to steal the medicine Tamang kay lying way. so out of your desperation to care or to cure the sickness of your wife so you will steal the medicine so we will compare it to how a utilitarian will um, address the issue so the utilitarian may also claim a moral agent should steal the medicine because saving the wife's life is a better outcome than whatever negative consequences may result from stealing. However, the reasoning that leads to this conclusion is based on an emotional wing of cost and benefits rather than a consideration of the relationships involved and asking what love might demand. So, ang, dif ang diferensya ni nila si utilitarian, it is more on a rational way of looking at the issue and that is looking at the outcome instead of your emotional inclination or your inclination to to the patient but there is another way which is which will go on which will fall on how Vienti would address the issue which is the answer of Amy uh, Jake of course would st steal the drug so Amy on the other hand it disagrees that Heinz should steal the drug Lest he should go to prison and leave his wife in another predicament, so another problem na pwede ang ihatag siyang wife. She sees the dilemma as a narrative of relations over time, involving fractured relationships that must be mended through communication. We believe that uh, if dunay away, especially managa uh, dunay manag relasyon, friends or manag uyab or manag asawa, the best way if there is there is a away, and that uh, to address that is through communication. Once magbungol ang usa or dili na maminaw ang usa, then the problem will never be resolved. 
So it is only through communication. So Amy is trying to address that Heinz should explain himself to the doctor or the pharmacist in order for the doctor to understand better the situation. Because in the example, ang giingon ra dito is nangayo ra siya discount or nag naghangyo siya payment arrangement. Ngay bayad lang sa nako ni Doc ang 2,000 o niya ang 2,000 na lang kay mangita pa ko. So, deal na refuse ang doctor with that kind of arrangement. Probably, uh, Heinz have failed to to uh, to explain the situation. No, as a human being, we have this kind of of uh, soft heart, uh, soft soft part in our hearts that uh, will lead us to understand even the strangers no, who needs help. So, understanding the world as populated with networks of relationships rather than people standing alone. Paul Ricoeur, no, as a philosopher, Paul Ricoeur is very expert on this, on how we we deal with our neighbors, no, with the other. Uh, the other, in a philosophy, a philosophical term, is referring to anyone other than you. So, how to treat your neighbor or the other. The other is not in a plural form because that is referring to anyone that is a singular. So, understanding the world as populated with networks of relationships rather than people standing alone. Uh, it means that you are not alone. We are people or we are in a network of relationships. We have family members, we have friends, we have classmates, we have, uh, we have instructors, we have the strangers, even the strangers, no? As long as we, we, we are going to, to meet them, uh, we tend to connect. No? So that's why th that is a network of relationship. Amy is confident that the doctor or the druggist would be willing to work with Heinz once the situation was explained. And that was a, uh, an excellent uh, reflection, Viente. So Nadding is also, no, Nell Nadding is another proponent of this one, of this uh, theory, also defended care as a particular form of moral relationships. Relationship. She sees that children as a naturally caring. We, from our childhood, you know, as a child before, we are naturally caring. We do care. No? Uh, we, with the exception of sociopaths and psychopaths who are unable to show emotion. No? And claims this is a prerequisite for ethical caring. No, the problem is that we were not nurtured to be caring. So, ang problema wala ta na nurture nga mahimong caring. That is why it depends upon the upbringing. There are parents who are well, uh, I mean, they, uh, who have fa have not failed to to train their children to, to care. Uh, that that uh, that manifests. That manifests when their children uh, grows up. But usually it will manifest their action. It depends upon their upbringing. That's why um, uh, mag study na punta o uh, mag study na punta sa how why this person have this kind of behavior or this kind of attitude. Mo balik na punas sa upbringing. No? Very complex po na mag study sa upbringing, especially the nurture and nature uh, uh, factors. Uh, I will not I will not discuss that in here of course you understand why uh, another example for upbringing especially those children so the tendency is they they are not inclined to become emotional since they have not even felt love in the first place nobody has been no nobody has cared for them when they are still growing and they have uh, uh, they have uh, no, they, they did their best not to survive only. Uh, by themselves so uh, if and and then also uh, in in the house between the mother and the father it was usually it is usually the mother who expressed no show care so well nothing does not rule men out from being caring so now nothing's on the other hand wala niya exempt or wala niya himong exclusive and but but pakita o care to all to women only uh, he also believed that it is also pa pa possible for men no, to, to, to become caring. It is usually women who feature in her examples of caregivers. So nothing like Gilligan prioritizes relationships that are between uh, specific individuals in a particular context as the basis for ethical behavior. This stands, contrast, uh, this stands in contrast to the idea that morality involves following a universal or abstract moral rule which is the deontology. So who should care? No? 
So the ethics of care has been influential in areas such as education, counseling, nursing, and medicine. Yet there have also been feminist criticisms. Some worry that linking women to the trait of caring maintains a sexist stereotype. No, pag ato lang po siyang i-brand sa mga babae lang ang pagiging caring, it is also like a discrimination against men. No? Kaya ang men mo rin uh, i-brand na ito na dilip yun sila caring. In fact, sexist, this is another term no? for discrimination. May mag-discriminate ta on the basis of race that you are a racist. You discriminate on the basis of gender then you are a sexist. And encourages women to continue to nurture others to their own detriment and even while society fails to value carers as they ought. Okay, atong ipasagdaan ng mga babae as to, to do the caring job, no? uh, we tend not to appreciate their, the value of, of, of them as carers. So while nothing claims moral agents also need to care for themselves, this is, this is as they are better able to continue caring for others because we believe that you cannot give what you do not have. So you cannot care if you do not care for yourself in the first place. So obviously, it is not only women who care or who take undergiving roles, pain or pain. Yet empathetic professions such as nursing, teaching, childcare, and counseling are female-dominated and women still do the majority of unpaid caring roles including childbearing and domestic duties in the home. So women, we have to remember that women are also diverse. Managlahi, many women does not exhibit care, especially katong wala yun na wala yun ka na no, wala yun nag-amuma sa ila pagdako. So, this is this is a this is another thing that we have to understand that dili po tana ng babae are exhibiting care. But also, in some, in men, dili po na ito i-brand ang mga lalaki as dili po na care because there are many or some men exhibit equally strong tendencies to care. So it is not apparent that care ethics is solely or uniquely feminine. So dili lang siya dapat i-brand or label sa mga feminine. So daan po na siya sa mga masculine. So, care ethicists agree that women are positioned differently than men in relation to caring practices. Doon na natin ilahi nga pumagi sa pag-care between men and women. But there is no clear general agreement or consensus about the best way to theorize sex and gender in care ethics. So, in this kind of example, Ethel is 89 years old and was just diagnosed with terminal cancer. Her doctor believes that she's got only a couple of months to, uh, left to live. In that time, Ethel's health will deteriorate rapidly and she will experience a lot of pain. Ethel wants to live out the rest of her good days with her family. However, once the pain becomes unbearable, she can no longer take care of herself. Ethel is considering opting for a physician-assisted suicide. Her current doctor does not support this idea because she uh, she views it as a murder. However, in Vermont, there, this is considered as a legal act under certain guidelines, and there are other doctors willing to perform the task. What do you think about this situation? Is this an act of murder or compassion? <laughs> 